All right, good morning. This is Mark from Nemesis Kennels. Hey, so we're coming up on to the ear posting, and these are some of the supplies that we're going to need, um, depending on how we're going to do it. So here's your back garage. You can get this in different type of uh, gauges, sizes, for the dog's ears um, at Home Depot. Uh, some scissors, uh, depending on if we're going to do mold form. So this is the mold form padding. Um, you can also get this online, um, Amazon. So it comes in sizes like this. It's a foam. It goes inside the dog's ears. Cut it in a triangle like this. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, another method is the zip tie method. So there's a zip tie. Uh, big zip ties. Let me see if I can grab one. It's like this. It's long, so you cut it. And then you have to uh, you know, bevel off the edges so they won't poke the dog's ears. But, um, you know, you rub it off the edges. Alright, so back to this. Um, put the back of the rod, cut the length of the ear. Okay. Round it off. So this is going to go inside the dog's ears. Okay. So once you do that, and now this is the sticky part. Roll. All the way. And all the way back down. This is how I do it. It just stiffens up the rod a little bit. Sure, not to go all the way past inside the ear canal, but it goes in so it's nice and soft. And this is all sticky, okay? So there's your backer rod, and that goes inside the ear, okay? So, another thing I forgot to mention is this Torbot, it's a bonding cement. You can also get this on Amazon or eBay. Um, it's a little uh, surgical glue, so it's like paste. So this just helps promote having either the zip tie method in the ear, the mole form in the ear, and sometimes adding a little onto the adhesive part in the ear. So uh, the dog won't scratch at it, remove it, you know, after two to three days. This will pretty much bond for about five to six days. Um, and then you can remove it. So again, five, Five days on, two days off, five days on, two days off. Uh, just repeat this method for about maybe three to four months. Uh, depending on the, uh, the dog's strength of the ear. You know, uh, some dog's ears are a little, little uh, have harder cartilage in them, and they, uh, they don't need to post as long, but some don't, so they're a little weaker in the ear, so you need to post a little, little more. So just be consistent, you know, um, the dog's gonna whine a little, make sure you have a cone. Just to make sure that they don't scratch, you know, the ears and your, um, don't get them wet. Um, if you, you know, smell a foul odor, odor in, the, in like one or two days, um, remove them um, because they may have an infection. Okay? And the most important thing is to make sure you don't, you know, um, wrap too tight. Okay. So again, I can go through, you know, some of the methods, but uh, these are the materials that we're going to be using. Okay, guys, take care. Have a good one. Uh, just real quick, coming back to you. Um, yeah, make sure uh, you get plenty of this adhesive tape. You know, you can get that online also. Um, I buy them in rolls. They come like this. Six of them in a roll. You can get them in different, different types. Um, always make sure that the ears are clean and uh, dry. So you can use some... Uh, some Johnson's and Johnson's baby powder. Um, just a little trick, gold bond foot powder in the ear. So that helps. Um, again, the ear cleaning solution, we have like little wipes also, so that helps. Uh, when removing the adhesive after five days, six days, um, don't try to pull the adhesive from the ear, okay? Um, you're gonna kill the follicles in the ear, and you're gonna
you're gonna get like little white like gray hairs okay so we don't want to do that use this unisol they come in little wipes um but this is an adhesive remover just lightly spread it with a damp uh you know uh, paper towel and lightly remove the uh the post you know all the uh, adhesive tape okay so this helps a lot and it saves the dog's ears okay so thanks again for watching and uh, uh, the mold form method um this is a little mold form so as you know it comes in little packs like this we're going to cut it from a diagonal from that corner down to this corner okay and then once you have that triangle then you're going to round it off here according to what size dogs you know you're going to post it on it so this is basically what you want to see okay it does have an adhesive backing on it backing okay this will only stay on the dog's ear for a short period of time so um, you have to put that bond if you want so I'm gonna take the bottom and then I'll come back and show you okay so you're gonna take the bottom you're gonna wrap it like this like the post you're gonna take your little tape in the opposite direction just stick your finger in here um, that helps So again, just like the, the backer rod, you want this to be a nice, smooth surface for the ear canal. Um, any little um, corners lifting or like that, it's going to irritate the ear. Okay, so make sure that this is nice and smooth. Okay, nice and smooth in the ear canal. Turn it off. Okay, so again, here is the mold form. You're gonna remove this. Remove this. You're gonna take a little of this bonding glue and you're gonna put it all on that. Make sure the tip gets it, and pretty much all around the tape. Don't put any glue on the tape that's inside the ear canal. You do not want to do that. Okay, you just want to put it on the inside of the ear. Okay. Um, you know, put put enough glue on there so it can stay. You know, Okay, so that's pretty much the glue, you know, take that little excess on. And then uh, we'll stick it in the dog's ear and I'll show you how it looks after. Okay, so as you can see, Whiskey can stay. I see! Do you see his ear? Okay, so it's inside his, his ear, okay? All right, Papa, okay. So he has a little lazy ear because rain bites one ear when posting. So one stands tall, the other one, you know, he has a little lazy ear. So I use the mole form on that one ear. Okay, and I'll show you a little closer. So you're gonna put it in the ear canal, like that, with your finger, okay? That, that glue, bonding glue, is right behind it, so it adheres to the ear. And that just gives it a little more support, so when he, you know, is alert, his ear will stand straight. Okay, and this little puppy right here, he's gonna get his ears posted pretty soon. 